Hey guys, in this video I'm going to scan in a traditional drawing in my sketchbook and I'm going to show you how you can get that onto its own layer in Photoshop so that you can colour below the line art without it all being one flat layer. I'll put the details of the scanner that I'm using in the description box below but to be honest it's just a cheap one I've had for years I don't really know much about scanners and I don't want this tutorial to actually be about the scanner settings anyway more about getting your line art into its own layer in Photoshop. So once I have scanned the image onto my computer, I'm going to open it in Photoshop. Normally I would spend a while straightening this up and cropping it down right. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to do quite a quick job. Probably not going to be overly neat, but I would like to keep this quite short. So I'm just cropping it down using the crop tool in Photoshop. So now we have basically how the page in my sketchbook looks. As most of you already know, it doesn't usually work well when you edit the background layer. So I'm going to select my layer and I'm going to press Ctrl and J or you can right click and duplicate layer. Hit OK. So now we have a copy. It's always good in case anything goes wrong as well. So the first thing I'm going to do on this new layer is press Ctrl and L to bring up levels. At this stage you can also darken your line art a little bit if you drag this left slider to the right a bit. But the important bit here is the right hand slider which is controlling the whites on the page. So I'm actually going to turn this up a little bit. You don't want to go too far like this and lose loads of detail. But because the page I'm using is a slightly off white colour and it has a bit of texture to it, I will need to up the whites a little bit for this to work right. So once you're happy with it, click OK. But again spend more time than me getting this correct and not overdoing it. And what we're going to press on our keyboard is Ctrl and A which you can see has put a selection around everything. In fact, let me zoom in a little bit there just so it's a bit clearer. You can see the dotted line around the outside. And then I'm going to hit Control and X to cut this. So you'll see on the right hand side, our background copy is now empty. Before we progress, I'm actually going to select white and I'm going to press Alt and Backspace. And what that's done is it's just given us a white background layer to be using. So I'm going to come down here and create new layer. And this is the layer above our white background that is going to be our line art. So I'm going to press this button over here on the left hand side, which is the quick mask mode. Alternatively, you can just press Q on your keyboard. And then I'm going to press Ctrl and V or paste. So this puts our line art in, in a red layer. Once you're happy with that, we're going to select this button again or press Q on your keyboard. And now you can see we have a selection. The problem is it's actually selecting the white in the background of our sketch as opposed to the line art. So all we do is we come up to this top left bit, press select and select the inverse. Now the selection is on our line art. So what I'm going to do is select a colour I want to use to fill it. In this case I'll use black, hit OK and then I'm going to press Alt and Backspace again. This is just a shortcut to fill. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. So you can see we have our sketch. So on this background copy, that means that we can go in with anything we want and color below this now. On top of that, if you come back to your sketch layer, you could press this lock transparent pixels button and you could color over your line art now, however you want it to look. And there you have it. That's how you get your line art onto its own layer. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment below, let me know what other videos you guys want to see like this. And as always, make sure that you subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching everyone.